Hey, this is Tide Pool Tim, and I uh, just got back from the beach doing some uh, digging of some uh, sandworms, some nearest worms. But I happened to cross a couple specimens of the milky ribbon worm. Now, these are a type of a flatworm, and the genus on the milky ribbon worm is uh, Cerebratulus. I've got two nice specimens here. And what's interesting about these uh, worms, they don't look like much. They're pretty uh, long and flat, but they can really change the. Uh, the, the body length. Like when you're digging through the soft silty mud, you'll end up uh, exposing one of these flatworms and they sometimes, as you pull them out of the mud, they're two or three, even four feet long. And this one's a beauty. I don't know, this one looks a little more peaked. They may be spawning this time of year. I'm not, I'm not certain. But uh, they have a pretty interesting little way of feeding. On the underside of them, you'll see a little slit or a little groove and uh, they can extend this long white, it looks like a very thin piece of spaghetti, proboscis. And uh, it can uh, seemingly extend itself like the worm, almost two or three feet long. And apparently the way that they feed is they take that proboscis and use it to, uh, to I don't know if they're gouging out or they're um, eating the uh, their prey from the inside out. But uh, pretty interesting... Uh, Interesting little specimen here. The milky ribbon worm is its name. Open, you can see him. Whoa. Right here in my hand. Moving around much. But they don't like light, obviously. If you live in the sediment, if you live down in the mud, you're not going to be too thrilled by being out in the bright daylight. So, anyway, that's the milky ribbon worm, and we do have uh, uh, collect these specimens here at Gulf of Maine. Uh, found in the uh, same sandy mud where sandworms and bloodworms are located. That's it. Typo Tim, checking out.